I'm sure many of you have heard of the Fight Night games before, or even the UFC games, but there's one EA Sports combat game that no one really knows or talks about. Fight Night Icon! No, but seriously, it's a boxing game called Face Breaker. Now, EA Sports has obscure games. Like, did you know they made cricket games? Yes, that's games. With an S at the end. Or how about bass fishing? Or even cheese rolling 2005? That one was a personal favorite of mine. The thing is, those games have a small niche of players anyway. Is it any surprise you don't know EA made a fishing game? Not really. Is it surprising that EA made a boxing game and you probably haven't heard of it? A Little bit. So what's the deal with this game? It's bizarre because it comes out smack dab in the middle of the sixth generation, aka the realistic sweaty brown and gray generation. This is notable because Facebreaker is the exact opposite of that. It's a super zany arcade fighter similar to Ready to Rumble. EA didn't really release many arcade games back then, and if they did, they were relegated to PSN or Xbox Live, like NBA Jam and NFL Blitz. The mainline releases took a more realistic approach, like the Skate series. Throw in the fact that EA retired the EA Sports big label, which was the label that was used for arcade games, makes this such an anomaly of a game. I mean, just look at this lineup. Madden, FIFA, NBA Live, Facebreaker. Looks a little out of place, doesn't it? You know, let's jump right into it. Facebreaker is a very simple game. There's no hour long, overly explanatory tutorial to guide you on how to play the game, nor do you really need one. Right before you fight, you get a couple of slides to show what button does what, and that's all. You have your high punches, low punches, special punch, a throw, and a counter. Seems simple. All right, I have my guy. I'll choose medium since this is my first time playing. 12 seconds later. Oh my God, he's kicking my ass, damn. I could barely get a hit in. I don't think I've ever gotten my ass beat on medium difficulty so bad in my whole life. If this is medium, I literally can't imagine fighting on the hardest difficulty. Imagine a little kid playing this. His parents would have to seek counseling for him because when you get your ass beat like this, you feel it through the TV. Okay, so what's going on here? Is the game really this hard or am I just crap at it? It's a mix of both, really. Facebreaker comes with a manual. Do you remember manuals? In the manual, the controls are explained more. So you do have a special punch, but if you chain together enough strikes, you do special er punches. The bar on the bottom fills up when you land punches. Fill up the bar completely and you could do a facebreaker that ends the fight immediately. This could end fights in like less than 20 seconds if you pull it off. Good luck hitting a facebreaker on higher difficulties, by the way. You have a better chance of doing shit like that in real life than you do in the game. Holding a punch button charges your punch, but it also works as a counter. If I'm holding high punch, I'll counter high punches, for example. Holding L1 and R1 changes the counter, so now you could do a parry or a push. Also, each character has a special attack that stuns an opponent. For the character I'm using, kick, 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 kick. Yeah, him. If I hit three charge punches in a row, my opponent gets stunned. So yeah, there's a little bit more to this game besides mashing buttons. Don't get me wrong, you're not going to see this game at EVO or anything. So now that we know how to play, we can try the game's main mode, Brawl for All. Don't worry, you don't have to fight Butterbean at the end. I'm going to play on medium difficulty because I'm not going to torture myself no matter how much the game insults me. It's a mode where you fight people and win belts, with each belt being harder to get. You come across the whole roster on this playthrough. Hmm, maybe I should reword that. You get to fight the whole roster on this playthrough. And the characters are fine. They're not outstanding, but I remember most of them, so that has to count for something, right? Each belt has its own arena. And I like the arenas. An arcade, an asylum. My favorite being this pirate arena because you see these two crabs with boxing gloves fighting, and I think it's just hilarious. You have the same ring girl, and she has tit physics. And the camera zooms in on them a good portion of the time. I mean, is this really necessary? This game has the EA Freestyle branding on it, which is supposed to be family friendly. Even if that wasn't the case, it's also pointless. I mean, what pervy idiot is going to sit there and jerk off to the ring girl from Facebreaker besides people who look and act like this? Prepare for your doom. With each new opponent, you also get these little cutscenes of your opponent talking shit before the fight starts. Knock, knock. Um, who's there? You. You who? You suck! <laughs> it reminds me of Crash Bandicoot 3 where the boss characters talk shit before you play a level. Shove off! 
or I'll roast you. Fights are three three-minute rounds, and the first are three knockdowns, or a face breaker wins. If neither of those things happen in three rounds, then you go into sudden death where the next knockdown would win the fight. This is completely unfair at times because there are moments where I have two knockdowns and my opponent only has one or even none. Then we go into the sudden death round and I lose because I get knocked down once. Complete unfair nonsense. The fighters get their faces bruised up pretty badly, hence the name of the game. Some of these look pretty brutal, look at these. One really cool thing about this game is that each boxer behaves differently. Like this guy right here I'm fighting, he's different, he keeps his guard up all the time. If you keep failing a fight, you get a tip for defeating them, which is pretty cool. Remember the guy who smacked my ass all around the arena earlier? Well, he's pretty easy once you know how he works. He charges from way back, so when he misses, then it's time to pay his ass back from earlier. So if you don't beat your opponent in three tries, you have to go back to the previous opponent. So it's three and out, much like when the New York Jets have the ball on offense. So playing Brawl for All is challenging to say the least. So I'm beating guys and I get the first two belts. It's been challenging, but it's been nothing I couldn't handle so far. I'm going for the third belt and then I run into Israel Adesanya over here. This guy is freaking impossible. This guy's name is Spin, but they should change his name to Bounce because he'll be bouncing your ass all around like Sonic in a casino night zone. Damn, how is this medium difficulty? On hard, does he come through the TV and beat your ass up in real life? I can't imagine this being any more difficult. I lost all my attempts, so now I gotta go back. Thank God the previous opponent isn't that hard. I eventually got a face breaker on him. Don't ask me how, I just got lucky. After him, we get this big guy who reminds me of the abominable snowman in the Looney Tunes cartoons. Do you wanna come and play with me? You know what, let's make a long story short here. He beats me and now I have to fight freaking this guy again. It was at this point I almost turned the damn game off, but I persevere and I beat both of them. I continue on and get to the final belt. The last guy is this insane dude. He was rather easy, shockingly. And that's face break. Wait, a new belt just appeared. Zoo? Who's in here? The monkey! <laughs> yep, you spend this belt beating up a monkey. <laughs> the monkey's not really that original. He doesn't fling shit at you or anything, and he's rather easy. Once you beat him, finally, that's face break. Whoa, whoa, what's this? Okay, so the real final boss is this iron giant looking cliche ass robot. I'm just gonna assume he'll be easy like the monkey. Two hours later. This fight is the most unfair shit you can possibly do in any video game ever. There's this attack that stuns you if you're near a corner and there's no way to avoid it. He has missiles, a special throw where he lifts you up and throws you. You're gonna have to ice your damn thumb after playing this or it's gonna look like Popeye's forearms. After hours, and I mean literally hours, I finally beat this damn thing. And after all that, you get a final weirdly animated cutscene. Way to blow it out there, Tiki. Watch your mouth. Now you know that I do not approve of that kind of language. Vulgarities are ignorant and disrespectful. That's okay, Tiki. Just, just don't let it happen again. You little Yeah, I guess the monkey was the robot's pet or something. He even made a spank the monkey joke. No one spanks my monkey and lives to tell the tale. Now that I've been it, there's really nothing else to do besides play Brawl for All with every other character in the game. <laughs> Uh, I, I guess you can watch the Madden 09 trailer at like 10 frames per second. The first sports game that adapts to you. Does it adapt to being thrown into trash? You can also create a boxer. Wait, this game has game face? Oh my god, it does! I made a whole ass video on games that import your face. I didn't know this game had it. I'm just gonna plug in and use my eye toy because I'm too lazy to get pictures from that video.
three days later. Wow, that's actually pretty good. <laughs> Especially compared to these high tech games. I'm pretty sure you could just download pictures of anyone and put anyone in the game. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Oh my God, he's a monstrosity. I love him. This is the man right here that's gonna take on Brawl for All on its hardest difficulty. Or not, I can't even win the first damn belt. And I tried my absolute hardest. Sorry guys, but I'm not gonna take 20 years off my life to beat this. It's just not gonna happen. Overall, Facebreaker is an old school game. You start it up and there's just game. You even unlock the arenas and the fighters by just playing the game. No microtransactions or any other Scrooge McDuck, Mr. Krabs money grubbing shit like there is today. It's all about the money. It's a fun game with fun, albeit stereotypical characters, nice looking arenas and really good looking visuals. However, the game is ball breaking hard, man. And you know what? I kind of get why they did this. Facebreaker has no content besides the brawl for all. So to artificially extend the game, they made it super hard, even on the easiest mode. While it is fun, the lack of content and brutal difficulty make this not fun. The game just goes against what it's trying to be. Like I've mentioned earlier, EA Freestyle, in their words, playful, inclusive, casual, and easy to pick up for kids and parents, women and men, and casual and hardcore sports fans of all ages. Yeah, this game tries to do this with its simplistic controls and cartoony characters, but it goes against this with its insane difficulty and shit like zooming in on the ring girl's tits. Like, I still don't get why that's in the game. Although I don't think this is bad as a 15 though. Like, come on, dude, did this game bang your wife? Facebreaker went on to sell terribly. It's hard to find exact sales numbers, but Wikipedia mentions that this game only sold 52,000 copies in a month. And VG Charts, I, I know, I know, it's not the most reliable, but VG Charts has it at 580,000 units, which sounds okay-ish, but those are the lifetime sales with all the units combined. And also this game was on the Wii, where anything sold. Googling the title of the game brings you to some Path of Exile stuff before the actual game. There seems to be no fan base or cult following behind this game either. EA probably thought highly of this game because before release they made these little audition things that showed off the character's personality. Sure, and to play big Russian guy, always with stereotypes, you American all the same. And they were posted on Madden's YouTube channel of all things. Facebreaker had the potential, but now it's just a curious case of obscure sports gaming history. You'll have to excuse me. My chariot awaits. Coming, Mom! 